Dole here for another exhibition match of F15 Arena. Today we have Leaf versus Dynablade. Leaf's team consists of Olive the Chemist, Forrest the Squire, Shamrock the Monk, and Mint the Mediator. Going up against Dynablade's team concerning uh, Quint the Paladin, Gats the Archer, Rob the Thief, and Dendra the Wizard. Match today is going to take place in the Main Street of Lasalia, map 99. Good luck to both competitors. We have Leaf in the green and Dynablade in the blue. We have a triple panel haste and regen off the bat. Just going to move forward and it's going to take the teams a little while to get to each other on this map. Quickening out of the chemist, who has plenty of MP to spam that to her heart's content. And a haste and regen out of the slowpoke knight. Move him up closer to par. Now Leaf's team has been completely hasted. Always a good thing. Arm aim has missed, so no first blood yet. Squire still getting in range, more quickening. Knight's going to continue doing haste and regen rather than going on the attack. Faith up wizard is definitely going to be a threat. 99 damage, ninjutsu. And berserk onto the archer. 56 damage heal due to the black costume. It's definitely not going to Dynablade's favor so far. Chemist has gained 3 speed points. And now Dynablade's entire team is hasted. So we got 8 haste in all, and then another 99 damage. Next potion to take care of most of the problem. And a Kiyomori uh, to get rid of the regen and to inflict darkness as well. Another 42 damage heal. Holy! 324 damage, putting him into critical. But Leaf is there to pick him up with Ninjutsu and the next potion. Monk's back at full. Still more 99 damage. Okay, Mori. The Knight will get rid of that as soon as possible, though. Explosion on the Archer. Ooh, Sleep Sword has missed due to the Blind Brock. 42 damage Chemist attack. That Archer's doing a whole lot of nothing. Due to the insult. Quick holy. Monk is back into critical. Another 200 damage. Or 200 heal. And more Kiyomori spam. Usually not a fan of that, but it seems to be working fairly well. Chemist takes herself yet again and runs away. More 99 damage. Putting the archer in a critical. Catch a quick X potion. I'll take care of that. No problem. 42 new heal. Woohoo. Takes the engine. Get rid of that poison. Though they are still berserked and blinded, respectively. 324 damage takes out the monk. Quick Phoenix down. And a quick heal out of the mediator, but only for 90. 165 damage ninjutsu finally takes it down. But we're still at 4 on 4. Ooh, bag smack. 14 damage is all it was going to take. 37 damage puts him into critical. At least team is still going strong. 4 on 3. Although we should have a raise too. Ooh, insults onto that wizard makes her pretty useless. So Leaf is definitely in the lead. Back to 4 on 4. 24 damage critical bag smack. Is all that was going to take. And they're picking on the Berserk Wizard for some reason. Instead of taking on the Thief, who, is who, who they actually should be worried about. Keep him worried. More poison. We can't do anything. Back to 4 on 4. For the time being. 80% chance to hit. Take him out. 126 damage is now 4 on 2. Knight. Let's not get a sleep sword prop. 
and catches 132 damage ninjutsu for its trouble. More haste moves in. Leaf pressing the advantage. Although they really need to take out that chemist before he becomes an issue. Or the thief, rather. The chemisty thief. Ninjutsu puts him into critical. And berserk. So we have a berserk poison guy who will still get attacked anyways, even though he's going to die next turn. Nurse and run away. So it is four on one. The paladin has no way of revival. But we have to wait for everybody to get in range in order to take advantage of this. Fifth speed point out of that chemist. Who has this move MP up, even though she probably doesn't even need that. Quick either onto the squire. And we're going to haste and regen to get rid of the poison at least. And then Tanky Knight is tanky, but he is always going to be the last one attacked, so... More quickening! Hurry up, monk. Don't walk back and forth. Walk forward. More nurse. He can do that two more times, unfortunately. More quickening. That is a really, really quick chemist. Hasted, and she's got probably about 18 speed by now, if I had to guess. Haste regen. More speed. Still getting in range, even though all she can do is hit with the main gosh, which isn't going to do much of anything, damage-wise. 50 damage smack. Yep, 55 damage shot. That's all it's going to do. Berserk has missed. 32 damage, 55 damage, come on guys, do a little more damage than that. Let's get him out of here. 110. If it wasn't for Nurse, we'd be able to take care of him by now. More poison. Oh, haste and regen. So he's back at about 200 health, so if both the Squire and the Monk get him, we should be able to take him down, but he is out of range. Since the AI loves to creep forward one or two squares at a time. Berserk has missed, which would have helped. Eat the wrong square. And nurse. Back to full. But they've got him trapped into a corner. How fast is that chemist? Let's see. Chemist is at 19 speed. I'm pretty sure that she's going to be just fine. More Kiyomori. Quickening. 20 speed. I don't think that knight's going to be able to take it all out on himself. We just need everybody in range. Problem with ninjutsu is everybody moves back out of range as soon as they can. And then when the knight moves out of range, then they're just screwed. 110 more damage. 63. And a double turn! He's still not dead though. Will this do it? No! Instead of going for the killing blow, she's just going to do a haste move. Squire's out of range, Monk is out of range, Chemist can at least hit him once, can she hit him again? No! She's gonna cast quick enough. Oh no. I could have killed the knight, but I chose not to. Faith regen, come on guys, hit him, there we go. And the match is over, good game, relief.